Hello everybody and welcome back to our playthrough of Morrowind. I am your host Valenfor. I also have a special guest here with me today. This is Mimi. Say hello. Hey. <laughs> and we're progressing through the rest of the burial grounds here today. Uh, we are looking for the Bone Biter Bow, I believe it is. We've got a bit of dual commentating going on today. Oh, we've got some stuff here. What have we got? We've got some elemental spells. Take that. To keep casting night eye, otherwise we can't really see what's going on in here. There's a body up here. We have well, nothing special. He has got a journeyman's probe and a lock pick as well. He's got some decent armor. What is that he's carrying? Iron Helmet, mm. Nordic Iron Curus, is that any better than what we're wearing at the moment? No, no better. But he does have... No, we're wearing all the same. Ah, no, it's a uh, Paralyzed Sword. Okay, so, let's continue on this way. Oh, we've got a locked chest. Pick that. What have we got? 33 gold. Nice. Not bad. No, that's uh, a load of skulls just over here. I think if we head up this way, we should be. Oh, just got pitch black again. There we go. Ow! Being attacked by fish. No, a rat. Alright. Come here. Where have you gone? Oh no, it was a fish. It looked like a rat. It is a rat! Huh. A rat that cannot swim. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we're heading off into the Letarius Burial. I vaguely remember that there's a... a rather large waterfall that we need to walk up. It might even be here. And you have to keep your eye open for a load of dead bodies because there's a number of different items that we can pick up on our way up like this guy here this little mummy let's see if I can get over to him come on come on ah, no, nee. ah. okay let's see if we can get back up here and Still not amazing at casting Night Eye, but um, I can't even get up this rock. What's going on? Okay. There it is. I don't know if I'll bother making another stab at trying to pick that. We've got a door here. This is the Fragile Burial. I can't remember. One of these, I think, is it's broken, so there's nothing in there. So I'll leave that one alone. Night Eye really doesn't exist. Alright, we'll have to rest until we get our mana back. There we go, okay. Let's continue on. to get a longer one. Kefka Burial, again, I don't think that's the one that we need. I'm not going to take too much time in actually investigating these little places because there's not a lot to loot. There's this one here. Kakuna. Might be the Kakuna Burial we need, actually. Let's head on inside here and have a look. Now I've got Mimi eating Watsits right next to my ear, so if you hear crunching, that's what it is. Oh, who's this guy? Uh oh. <coughs> Skeleton, yeah. Ah, come on. Eat Daedric Longsword. There we go. He's down. Skeletal Warrior. He had a steel spear. Nothing to write home about. There's something else that's chasing him. Ah, 
Ah, oh, this guy. It's another one with amazing block skill, I think. Come on. There we go, he's done. Let's see if we can't heal here. Checking all of my spells. I've gone and taken Night Eye off. Where's that gone now? There we go. Something up there. Let's see. Can I make this jump? Oh, just. Come on. Let me up. If only I had that potion of rising force still. Uh, have I got levitate at all here? Uh, damage, no. Divine intervention, water breathing, soul trap, store health, that's always good. Shield. No, nope, I think I used. I used it last episode, didn't I? Poo. Alright, okay, it doesn't look like we're going up that way. Oh, where are these skeletons coming from? Ow! Come on. Hey! He's down. What did he have? He had a steel warhammer. Mm. Tasty. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything else down here, so... Head back into here and keep heading upwards. Mm. This could be the one we need. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So you can see, I'm just going to quick save here and rest as well. And you can see there are a number of little bodies lining the uh, area. <laughs> All of these whey, have urns next to them, which have a mixture of some stuff in them. But there's the mummies as well that can have really nice items on them. There's that one over there. Yeah, a levitate spell would have really done here, but never mind. Juno burial. I think this is where we need to be. A load more skeletons to face, though. Ah, I wonder. Where's my amulet shadows gone? Let's try sneaking up on this guy. I need a uh, 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 night eye. Come on. There we go. See if I can't get a sneak attack on this skeleton. Critical damage, but I missed. What is that all about? He's running like a baby. Mm. So with chameleon effect on, I'm pretty much invisible, so he can't see me at the moment. So he's actually gone and run off because he has no idea where I am. But that doesn't help me because he could end up pulling a load of other monsters. We need to try and take him down. Oh god, there's loads of them. Alright, let's try this. Oh, this is where I find out I've got no arrows. Yeah, okay. Just back up a sec. Get night iron again, there we go. And why don't we try this on him? Cancel, which one is it? It's scroll of that one. Oh wow, that worked out pretty well. Might do that again actually. Where's that gone? Scroll, there we go. And one more, just in case. 
Oh, did I really miss? Steel Claymore, not interested. Okay, what's down here? Not a lot. Here we go. Oh, my days. I think I went and missed again. Let's try that. There we go. Got any more of them? That's a touch spell. Ah! Again, it doesn't help that I can't see. I've got no mana either. Whoops, that was a bad choice. Let's do that. Oh god. Let's get some health going. Like that. And where's Night Eye gone there? Ooh. Until healed. Let's just rest up here. Wow. That was uh that was close. I still think we have one last thing to take care of uh, in here. So let's have a look around. What have we got? We've got Fortify Maximum Magica, nice. Journeyman's Armourer's Hammer, an Iron Saber, no, not really interested in that. Let's use the Journeyman's Armourer's Hammer though. Try and repair some of our stuff here. There we go. And what about this bit over here? What have we got? We've got Princess's Probe and Steel Dagger. Use Night Eye again, and we'll move our way through here. That sounds like a ghost. I know we're getting close. Quick save. And let's head on in. Alright, let's take this guy out. Way. He's down. There we go, the Bone Biter Bow of Sol Senapal. Damage Agility on target. Okay, it's quite a nice bow. So we'll keep that. And he had Exoplasm, which I'm not really bothered about. But there's something up there. Whoa! What was it? It was a potion of some variety. Yeah. Alright, well we got it. And this one has a coda flower, I think. Okay, nice. Well, that seems to be it for this area. Let's use recall now. And we can head back to where we placed that mark. Hopefully, if I can cast the Bloomin' Spell, which doesn't look like I can. Come on. That's where I need to invest in some mysticism uh, skill points. Whee, here we go. This is going to take us back to the camp. And I should be able to hand in the quest. Here we are. Have I there? And was it this guy we needed to go and see? So Outlander, have you completed the initiation rite? Uh, yes, yes I have. So this is my father's bone biter bow, you have completed the initiation rite, and I name you Valenfor, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow and bear it with honour. You are a friend of our tribe and may rest in any Urshilaku bed, but do not harm any other tribe members or take their things. And now I will fulfil my other promise, go to the wise women's yurt and Nibani Mesa shall examine you and test you against the Nerevarine prophecies. He says, now that you are a clan friend, I want to speak plainly. I find it hard to believe that you are the Nerevarine. You are an outlander, but the Nerevarine 
Nerevarine comes to drive all outlanders from Morrowind. How could an outlander be the incarnate? The great houses stole our lands and mocked us with false gods. A godless outlander steal our land and our dignity. The Nerevarine is the last hope of the Ashlanders have. I'll let no outlander steal this hope from us. These are serious words, Valenfor, words of life and death. I see honour and merit in you and am proud to name you clan friend, but take care what you say and do in the name of the Nerevarine. Now go question Nibani Mesa and learn all she can tell you. What with the... So we're now a friend of these people. We've been... I can spare. <laughs> <laughs> That's a netch. So good to see you. And I think I'm stuck on this tree again. There's a guy taking a mud bath over there. And I don't think I'm going to get out of this tree somehow. So let's just quickly do that. There we go. Get inside the wise woman's yurt because I've got battle music in my ears. Okay, so go ahead. Do you have questions about Nerevarine prophecies or have you come to see if you passed the test? Do you think you are the Nerevarine? Well, I've been told that I am, so see if we pass the test. You're not the Nerevarine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you are one who may become the Nerevarine. It is a puzzle and a hard one, but you have found some of the pieces and you may find more. Do you choose to be the Nerevarine? Then seek the lost prophecies among the distant priests of the temple. Find the lost prophecies and bring them to me and I will be your guide. Take these copies of The Stranger and The Seven Visions. Now I have told you all I know. Go, think on what I've told you and do what must be done. So what is The Seven Visions? The full title of the prophecy is The Seven Visions of the Seven Trials of the Incarnate. Listen and I will tell you the verses. Okay, fine. Seven Trials. What he puts his hand to, that shall be done. What is left undone, that shall be done. The first trial, on a certain day to uncertain parents, incarnate, moon and star reborn. Now we already passed the first trial because we were born on a certain day to uncertain parents. Second trial, neither blight nor age can harm him, the curse of flesh before him flies. Okay. Third trial, in Kevin's dark, Azura's eyes sees and makes to shine the moon and star. Fourth trial, stranger's voice unites the houses, three halls call him Hortator. The fifth trial, Stranger's Hand unites the Velothi, four tribes call him Nerevarine. Sixth trial, he honours blood of the tribes unmourned, he eats their sin and is reborn. So the final one is our destiny, he speaks the laws for Veloth's people, he speaks for their land and names them great. What does this prophecy mean? It tells us that the Nerevarine will be and the trials he must undergo before he fulfills his destiny. Some parts I understand, some parts I do not, and I will answer your questions as best I can, but I cannot pretend to understand it all. Well, fine, okay. Let's just quickly go through the trials where we will then end for today. So, seven trials. Incarnate cannot fail. What others have tried, he will do, but Nerevar started, the incarnate shall finish. Okay, first trial. This refers to your birth sign, to your birth on a certain day to uncertain pair. It's just like the stranger prophecy, okay? Um, I'll do them in order as they appear here. So, fifth trial. The Ashlanders are sometimes called the Velothi. For the prophet Veloth, who guided us to this land many, many centuries ago. The four tribes are the four tribes of Vardenfell, the Ashalaku, that's where we are at the moment, the Aimusa, the Zainab, and the Erebenimsum. <laughs> It would truly be a miracle to unite these four tribes who have so long raided and warred with one another, but Nerevarine must be who must be one who performs miracles. The fourth trial, a Hortator, is a war leader chosen when Dunma great houses must put aside their normal feuds to unite against a common er enemy. This has not happened since the Empire invaded our land. Ah, okay. There's something else we're ne needing to do now. Second trial. I'm not sure what this means. Will Nerevarine come as a spirit who is not harmed by blight or age? I do not know. But I think Curse of Flesh means that blight disease corpus, which causes terrible distorted growths on its victims. Perhaps the Nerevarine can heal this disease. Perhaps that will be the sign of the Nerevarine. Okay. Seven Trials. I think we've read that one. Seventh Trial. The Curse of the False Gods must be the Tribunal. They are surely false gods, evil sorcerers and necromancers, and they murdered Nerevar, so they might set themselves up as gods. Binds the Broken must refer to Nerevar's broken promise to the Ashlanders to honour the ways of the spirits and rights of the land. The sixth trial, not sure, 
The tribe on Mourned may mean the sixth house, House Dagoth, which was exterminated after the Battle of Red Mountain, but it may also mean the Duerma, or the Dwarves, as Westerns call them. Also, eating sin is doing atonement for others' sins. Okay, fine, and I think we've got the third trial here. In legend, there is a shrine to Azura called the Cavern of the Incarnate. There are secrets I may not tell you about this cavern. Do not ask. Oh, all right. Was there anything else to speak of here? Uh, birth sign. No. Let's go back up to the top. There we are. In ancient days... Oh, golly, how long is this one? This is going to be a long one. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. In ancient days, the Deep Elves and a great host of outlanders from the west came stealing the land of the Dumber. In that time, Nerval was the great Khan and war leader of the house people. But he honoured the ancient spirits and the tribal law and became as one of us. So when Nerval pledged upon his great ring of the ancestors, one clan under moon and star, to honour the ways of the spirits and rights of the land, all the tribes joined the house people fighting a great battle at Red Mountain. Though many Dunma tribesmen and housemen died at Red Mountain, the Duomo were defeated and their evil magics destroyed, and the Outlanders driven from the land. But after this great victory, the power-hungry Khans of the Great Houses slew Nerevar in secret, set themselves up as gods, and forgot Nerevar's promise to the tribes. But Nerevar will come again and cast down the false gods, and by the power of his ring will make good his promises, honour the spirits and drive the Outlanders from the land. Okay. So, okay, so that's quite a bit of uh, information there, but I think this is probably a good place to end for today. So let's just head back over here. And uh, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, please do all those lovely social media things. Please something? like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you next time for more of our Morrowind playthrough. But until then, I've been your host, Balan4, and this has been Mar, our little sub-host here. Come here. <laughs> Say bye-bye, baby. Bye. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.